Hi, so I just finished 99% uh, Mine by Sally Thorne. Um, I honestly did not think I would finish it um, because I did not love it as much as The Hating Game when I was first starting it. Um, I just couldn't really relate to Darcy and um, what I can say is what I really love about Sally Thorne's novels is I can see them like a rom-com. Um, so that ultimately made me keep reading. Um, even though sometimes it reminded me of a Hallmark movie. You know the ones that like you find yourself watching a few minutes and then before you know it you spent the whole day watching those Hallmark movies. Who else has done that? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I think for me when Jamie told Darcy to stay away from Tom, I was like, excuse me, sir, how dare you try and tell a grown adult what to do? Um, it made me interested in Darcy's storyline, and like, I was like, do not listen to him. And so I had to know, will she listen to him? Will she not listen to him? Um, after finishing this, I think that Sally Thorne has officially become one of my favorite contemporary romance writers, and I highly recommend both of her books if you haven't read them yet. Um, I also did not give a synopsis of this book, so let me do that right now. Um, Darcy Barrett has undertaken a global survey of men. She traveled the world and can categorically say that no one measures up to Tom Valeska whose only flaw is that Jamie, Darcy's twin brother, saw him first and claimed him forever as his best friend. Despite Darcy's best efforts, Tom's off limits, and loyal to her brother 99%. That's the problem with finding your dream man at age 8 and peaking in her photography career at age 20. Ever since, she's had to learn to settle for good when Darcy and Jamie inherit a dilapidated cottage from their grandmother, they're left with strict instructions to bring it back to its former glory and sell the property. Darcy plans to be in an aisle seat halfway across the ocean as soon as the renovations start. But before she can cut and run, she finds a familiar face on her porch, house flipper extraordinaire Tom, who has arrived bearing power tools and is single for the first time in almost a decade. Suddenly, Darcy's considering sticking around to make sure her twin doesn't ruin the cottage's inherent magic with his penchant for gray and chrome. She's definitely not staying because of her new business partner's tight t-shirts or that perfect face that's inspiring her to pick up her camera again. Soon sparks are flying and it's not faulty wiring. Turns out only 1% of Tom's heart might not be enough for Darcy anymore. This time around, she's switching things up. She's going to make Tom Valeska 99% hers. Yep. So I highly recommend both of her novels. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye.